The Chilcot report has exposed what so-called conspiracy theorists knew all along. That President Bush and Tony Blair were in cahoots to bring about a global new world order via unveiling Iraq for both political power, transhumanism and financial greed. It was found that the invasion of Iraq which took place in 2003 to kill Saddam Hussein was not the last resort and that more peaceful solutions could have been adopted. The chairman of the report even went far enough to say that there was no imminent threat from Saddam Hussein and the means of going to war which included misconstrued intelligence was not justified. More shockingly, secret declassified letters which detail communication between Bush and Blair have been released and they reveal a disturbing narrative. Doomsday is near has been warning people about the New World Order for quite some time now, but many detractors often make fun of this and label it as some sort of conspiracy theory. Well the truth has now come to light. The very politicians that we elect are the same politicians which are ruining our world for the elite's benefits. Before, I go into the detail of the letters, check out Blair's pathetic apology after the Chilcot report was released. Saddam Hussein from power, in a coalition of over 40 countries led by the United States of America. It was the hardest, most momentous, most agonizing decision I took in my 10 years as British Prime Minister. For that decision today, I accept full responsibility. Without exception and without excuse, the intelligence assessments made at the time of going to war turned out to be wrong. The aftermath turned out to be more hostile, attracted, and bloody than ever we imagined. The coalition plan for one set of ground facts and encountered another, and a nation whose people we wanted to set free and secure from the evil of Sadak became instead victim to sectarian terrorism. For all of this, I express more sorrow, regret, and apology. Those emotions are not genuine nor do they take any real accountability for the destruction that both Bush and Blair caused. Blair's apology basically reiterates that he would have done the same thing if he had to make the decision again. The letters which were released reveal that Blair and Bush had a tight and close bond which went further than politics. It should be noted that some things that Blair privately told Bush was not known by members of his cabinet. In the letters, Blair assures Bush that he will be on his side, no matter what. The foundation was already set, because of Blair's and Bush's friendship and evil agenda of implementing the New World Order, peaceful solutions were deliberately ignored and intelligence information was misconstrued to begin the integration of the New World Order. Iraq's weapons of mass destruction was a lie to enforce the real agenda as illustrated by these letters. These letters reveal what is hidden in plain sight and which many people deny to realize. Blair says to Bush this is the moment when you can define international politics for the next generation, the true post-Cold War world order. Our ambition is big, to construct a global agenda around which we can unite the world, rather than dividing it into rival centers of power. Blair basically admits to the invasion of Iraq being used as a tool to implement a new world order which restricts the freedom and dignity of humanity whilst increasing the power and financial strength of the Illuminati elite. All the while. The masses are being told lies about Iraq's so-called weapons of mass destruction and how the intelligence reports illustrates that the invasion was means to an important aim. All in all, the Chilcot report is another illustration of the dark truth coming to light. The political players in this current era are used as Illuminati pawns to implement their sick and disturbing agendas. The report concludes that the UK chose to join the invasion of Iraq before the peaceful options for disarmament had been exhausted. Military action at that time was not a last resort. 
please subscribe to the Doomsday is near YouTube channel and like this video if you do.